Our world is in a season that is challenging, fragmented, and for some, spiritually dry. In similar times in history, the church has not only survived, but thrived, giving hope, support, and spiritual sustenance to the world. In 2022, we hope to do just that as a local church here in Adamstown and Newcastle. We want to be quick to rely on God, His power and perspective through prayer. We want to care for people recognising we all have a backstory. We're made in God's image, but at the same time, we're broken and complex. And that's why we need His mercy and His forgiveness. And we want to be a people who care for God's world knowing he is on mission, restoring all things, and we want to participate with him in that. Our church has experienced many changes over the past three years. This includes adopting a new constitution, a new governance, and a new organisational structure. We've searched for and appointed a new senior pastor. We've appointed a new oversight team, finance team, and an executive assistant, and we are hoping and praying that we are coming out of a pandemic. Needless to say, any one of these changes for the church is big. Our focus for 2022 will be delivering these changes with consistency, clarity and direction. With these changes comes the opportunity to affirm things from the past and to start some new things too. This includes turning up the dial with prayer in the life of our community exploring that together. We're also rethinking what does it mean to follow the way of Jesus in discipleship on his mission. We're also launched a new leadership development cohort with apprentices and interns. We're rethinking what does it mean to gather on a Sunday with fresh creativity, food and celebration. We're also trying to explore what it looks like to connect with teens and young adults. And we are praying for a new church plant, a pioneering a new community for 2024. As well, we're gonna be starting to look at appointing ministry coordinators in line with the new structure for our church, as well as promoting equity and sustainability. We also wanna increase the amount of connection with our neighborhood of Adamstown and amongst our church community through connect groups and camps as well. Uh, we also wanna improve how we do communications to the church in different mediums. Uh, and finally, we also want to apply for the Safe Church Health Check. And we understand these things won't all happen at once. We want them to be introduced gradually over the year. We want this year to be a, a year of unity, stability and creativity, allowing us to consider God's vision as we go into 2023. So we are inviting you to join us on this adventure together and maybe invite some others as we follow the way of Jesus, praying together and caring for people and partnering with God in his world.